Hello there, everybody. Sabana 92, aka Nightmare, and welcome back to Off. I have, like, this feeling that we are pretty much at the end point, so I might be able to wrap this up in this particular episode. Anyway, last episode, we made it here. And I'm guessing this has something to... I, I, I'm... Everything here... We met Enoch again, we met Jophet again, and we met the Dawn, and their personalities are starkly different, as well as talking to the batter as if they don't even know him. And from the little bits of information we got from the bed, or specifically the bedroom, I'm starting to think that what we're seeing right now, one comment kind of put this up here. Uh, I believe it was Miss Pirate, and I am inclined to believe this possible theory that right now we're seeing this, everything here is through the perspective of the son of the queen. That's what I am thinking. It might explain why the three guardians were talking in such a different way, rather than recognizing that I'm the batter. Oh, um, another thing. Uh, Fire Phantom, this part right here, something I really should have been paying attention to, I should have at least attempted something like this, these might, these lead to different places, apparently, so let's see what happens when I pick the second file. I'm sorry, what? What the fuck? Can I interact with any of them? Now there's whispering. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, goody. What the fuck? This is where supposed the bedroom is and it looks more like a cage. It's literally like a prison cell. Yeah, that's uh, definitely inanimate. I'm guessing if this must be through the visions of the child, they probably viewed their bedroom as some sort of prison cell then, or a cage. I wonder if there's anything special about... No. Okay. Hello. Hmm? What? <gasps> Wait a minute! Those symbols on the wall! Hold on, hold on! Go back. Go back. Go back. And the music's different too! Okay, where is it? It was, uh... It was down this way? No, oh, wait! Not you. Not you. Nope. No, 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 definitely not you. I don't want to be with you again, sir. Can I? Okay. That's what I was afraid of. I tried looking back to get like some of the other answers, and unfortunately, I think I missed out my I missed an opportunity to get some stuff. So, I really hope that doesn't affect my. I really hope that doesn't affect any sort of ending or something like that. Fuck, I don't know. Okay, screenshot. All right. Open up paint. Screenshot that. Put this off to the side so I have it. All right, good. Now I can just pull this up whenever I need to take another look at it. Because I bet you those panels seem to be where you can... He said that he could push them in. So I probably have to pay attention to this because the, pa the patterns... I'm sorry. The uh, way that those circle things are arranged are very similar to how the other buttons were. Let's see. Sideways. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna go back. What? You're new! Infernal Spectre, Horned Ectoplasmic Incarnation. Light weakness against meat. You're new. I don't think I've come across any of you guys before. I mean, you go down quite quickly, but... Huh. I really do like the battle music. Oh, right. I should probably go over some of the, um... Our resident favorite commenter at the moment, Tokuri, with your excellent knowledge of music in this particular field. So, let's go ahead and go over a little bit of this. Um, there's like four total pieces of music here. Brain Plague and all of its variations. Rewind, Slow Rewind, Re-Reversed, and The Room's Theme. One thing about this piece of music, you never hear the original in the entire game. Seriously? Even if it even if it exists in the game files, it is never used, and yes, everything is backwards. Okay, so I was right that the music is, that it was backwards. Nothing makes sense, and it messes with your mind. You're, th you think? And that's exactly what this music represents. The original is pretty ominous, but the effects that are created by reversing and re-reversing it are incredibly fitting for a place like this. Yeah, they actually do a pretty good job with that. I'm kind of curious. I want to see if I can listen to the original. Which, I mean, I've got the game files. I'm have to, I'm, I really have time to just kind of go look in those. Uh, gray pencil, which was the drawn area, where it looks like it was drawn by, like, a little kid and all that, I'm assuming. 12 seconds. It's only a 12-second song? I could have swore it felt like it lasted longer. Huh. First one, the two things that can be heard at first. The first one is a melody similar to those of a music box or a musical toy for a crib. One of that sound is so familiar to me. Oh, the clear undertone of sadness and recollection to it. I I didn't get so much the recollection, but I did get like this... It did have like that sort of feel of being sad in some regard. So I did notice that. That was pretty good. Okay, these three go together for a reason that is quite obvious. Clockwork, or lost grip of time. The walls are listening, cliff. And endless hallway, stuck past Didon, Jaffa, and Enoch themes respectively. So that's the name of their themes. Nice. The very more common empty versions of the themes that I already heard, as if they're just shadows of what was was or what would become. And now, see, the funny thing is, Tokuri, you got me to the point where I suddenly want to listen to their OG themes and then their these uh, different themes just to kind of compare them. And let's see, 14, fake residence, fake title screen theme, which is what's playing right now, I'm assuming. The theme of that same theme, but the piano leads and four takes that back and version. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Huh. Just kind of now lis listening to this. Yeah, I'm hearing more of, like, the back sounds rather than the somber piano that's playing. I like it. All right, let's head back to the second file. Now that, I've, now that I am armed with this particular card to my side. All right. Yep, and it even has the same symbols over there. So I need to, I'm guessing I must only hit the sideways ones. So let's see, the first one's here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh God, looking between these things is kind of a, oh, it's trippy on me eyes. Two down, cause there's one right here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna basically get all of the one on the left first, and then I'll focus on trying to find the ones for the right side. It'll be a little bit easier for me to do it that way than trying to hit both at the same time, which probably would have given me a headache if I attempted it. All right, so let's go to the bottom layer, see if there's any down there. Yeah, one in the middle. Okay. One, two. Left at the. That's. Yeah, I think that's all of them. All right, so let's focus on trying to get these next. So, let's see. Looking at the uh, paper here, I'm looking for. 
that direction, but reverse. All right, there's one right here. And da, da, da. wait. Yeah, right here. Okay. Uh, was there any that I missed? Let's see. I'm pretty sure I got them. Because looking at the card while also looking at this is just messing with my eyes, I tell you that much. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, hey, there's one actually up here that I missed. Aha! Okay. Five, eight, six, five. That is probably the other number that that one guy back on the first save file was needing. Wait, there was no door over here, was there? Nope, there's no pathway on the bottom, so. All right, head back to the first save file. All right. Let's go see if this is the number that that man wants. All right, big guy. Let's see if this is what you want, dude. Bravo, that's perfect. Here, take this, you've done well. The Sagittarius card has been found. Sagittarius card. Okay, Aquarius card allows access to the room again? I don't have any more riddles for you. Huh. Allows access to the room again. Does that imply that I have to leave and then come back? Okay, nothing's changed. Okay, uh, third save file. I have questions that require answering. I am upside down right now. I, I, um, yeah, this, this is, this is absolutely 100% normal. This is totally goddamn normal. The centaur with the bow will be the mount of the one who seeks the exit. The centaur with the bow will be the mount of the one who seeks the exit. Ah, I'm sorry. Hello, upside down bedroom. I can't examine the I can't examine the inanimate teddy. Aha! Weird. Okay. This is this is funky. Whoa. Oh, that was cool! The total perspective shift, that is actually fucking clever! I... Damn! And the fact that they had to create completely different sprites to, like, replicate that, that was actually really clever! I've never seen... Oh, God, no! No! Oh. Wait. Three, seven, five, five. Is that the code I need? Hold on. Three, seven. Yes! Good. Now what? I guess I go back down then. Wait, we're not doing the... We're not doing the thing! Why are we doing the, 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 the camera thingy? Today, Papa gave me a comic, but I want to go out and play. 
I hate this place. I'm sure mom will pick me up. See, now that, that right there only solidifies my thought that with the way the second room was portrayed, he saw this place as a sort of prison. And I, I'm not entirely sure who this Papa is. I had like this theory that it might have been Zachary, maybe? Because there was the whole connection with the music box. Zachary specifically wanted the music box. And Zach and the kid made a mention about how Papa gave me a music box. So, I don't think it's too much of a far-fetched theory to kind of assume that maybe Zachary is possibly the father. This Papa that's being referred to. However, the kid, the son, is making these mentions that they don't like the Papa. And... I don't know, Zachary doesn't necessarily strike me as that kind of person that would make a child hate him. I mean, like, Zachary's really done nothing wrong with me, and he's been an all-around helpful guy, popping up whenever I need him and just kind of helping give me items. I mean, hell, whenever the judge was gone, as one commenter put up, he was wearing a judge mask to make it feel like I was talking to the judge again, and I, I can kind of get that. I... I can kind of understand that that was a bit of a weird little his way of being kind, I'm assuming. Okay, uh, save. Let's see what happens now. Chapter 2. Oh, we're going, we are going backwards. Chapter 2, Boxer's Adventures. Who the fuck is Boxer? Hey, this hallway again this room again, but now the floor is not painful. Huh. The centaur. I need to keep that in mind. Oh? A book? It's an old comic. Read it. Is this the comic book that was given to the sun? Panic in Ballville, drawing Ash Gargipi, text Matt Morty's, colors Carl Comrade. And suddenly we're in a different game, I guess. What a beautiful day. Ballville is at peace today. Let's hope that nothing bad happens to spoil the magical blue of this glorious sky. Hi. Uh, <laughs> You're not taking my diabolical genius into account. And my new invention, the cloning machine. I sincerely hope that's not the banner. I really hope that's not, because that is a very demented looking face. I filled Ballville with replicas of my evil self. You can't stop us now, boxer. Ooh, and I also kidnapped your girlfriend. Oh no! Maybe it isn't such a good day after all. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'd be a pretty fucking bad day if somebody kidnapped my girlfriend, dude. Mission number 64. Clear Ballville of all the evil clones of Ballman. Quick! Oh my god, I'm playing an entirely different game now. Ooh la la, what a mess! Well, I'd better hurry! Ah! Purification and pro- I have so much HP! But- Wow! Ow! Box punch. Boxer attacks an enemy. Boxer refills his HP. Box kick attacks an enemy. Attacks multiple enemies. Box bomb! I- I... Level 87? Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Name Boxer. Nickname Superhero. State Pure Level 87. 700. Okay. Right Glove, Left Glove, Starred Shorts, Nerves of Steel, Lucky Coin. 
Obvi okay. The arm of justice. The fist of vengeance. With balls and <laughs> Okay, that's not wrong. The good always triumph. A precious childhood souvenir. All right. What what kind of are these his only skills he's got? Even the sound effects are different. Do I have any item? Oh, it actually kept all of my items. All right. Let's go. Whoa! You bastards can't fucking catch me! Wait. Who watched the Who watched the Watchmen? I have. It's not a bad movie. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies, this is a real invasion! <laughs> Boxer, this is the end for you! Vigilante, my ass! Alright. Interesting, it's even a switch of perspectives here. Usually, my character is being controlled on the right, and now I'm on the left side. Alright, fuck it, let's go! Let's tear these. Whoa. I was gonna say we're gonna tear these batters up, but then I remember I'm a batter, but uh fuck it. Oh. Yeah! Belial's me received. Fortune ticket received, fortune ticket. Hell yeah! Even for a superhero, this task is impossible! You've never had a chance of success! No! Daisy! What kind of drugs have I been going on, man? This is really stupid. No, it's not. I want to do it again. No, I'm not reading that. Let me! I want to play... I want to know what happens to the boxer! Yeah, fuck you, man. I want to, I want to play. I want to play. Let, let, me, let me play again! Today, Mom finally picked me up. <gasps> Zachary! <laughs> the end game is near, my friend. I believe what's floating behind you is the final save point. Perhaps it would be wise to record your progress one last time. Before you enter that door. And face the queen. <laughs> now, the time has come for you to spend the golden fruits of your carnage. The golden fruits of my carnage. Huh? Alright. Uh, I've got plenty of Abaddon's meat. Let's see. Katsuhi Katsuhiro Bat. Offensive equipment for the batter. Nice. Temperamental Symbol. That's uh, pretty expensive. Aura of Lunacy. Neal Tonic. Femur Epidermis. Color of Neglect. Inspiration. Expiration. Grand Brachial? A bizarre object associated with meat. Peace Vince Casey Vince in Victoria. I have no idea what the hell you just said, my good sir. <laughs> the end game is near, my friend. I believe it's fully behind you. Blah 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 blah. Apparently, I can buy a couple of those, I guess. Uh. I wonder what I do with all these grand items. Oh god, I'm not gonna be able to afford a lot of this stuff. Okay, uh. I'm gonna buy the Katsuhiro bat. And. Damn. I guess I'll buy a Neil tunic too. Damn it, the worst is not being able to actually... I can buy... Ah. Alright. 
Uh, six defense, or six attack, that's okay, I guess. Let's see. Emer Epidermis. Right? Alright. There we go. I'm kind of curious if there's, like, anything else going on here, because I kind of... I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned, so I'm going to... I want, I want to check around here just a little bit more. See if there's anything else that I might have missed. <laughs> Wait, what? But you ha I, I, God, God damn it. You have the five elements. Oh, God. If you'd like, I'd, I'll exchange them for an incredibly rare item. Uh, sure? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. The choice is yours. I have in my possession the Ashley Bat, the ultimate defensive item in the game. Or, well, the Ares card, which is, although I don't know what it's used for, completely unique as well. As much as the weapon sounds good, the Ares card sounds like it might be a little bit more important. Because I've got the Leo card, I got the Sagittarius card, I got the Pisces card, I got the Cancer card. Um, I think there's a fifth one somewhere, I think, but... Okay, so the five elements is. Hmm. I'll check my inventory after this. Uh, I'll take the Aries card. <laughs> the Aries card is your decision. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Here's your new treasure. Use it wisely. The Aries card has been found. Let me see. Whereas the items he was referring to, the grand. Yep. So there was a there was some actual purpose to the the uh, grand stuff. Okay. Allows access to a secret place. Hmm. Telling me curious. <laughs> it's a pleasure doing business with you. Okay, he doesn't sell anything new. Yet. All right. All right. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna look around a little bit more just in case there might be something else I missed. Cuz god damn it. I should I I I should probably go around and start gathering some more I'd say not experience but get a, like a little bit more money cuz I want to make sure that my characters are outfitted with like the best equipment possible. Lord knows if we're if we're near the if we're at the end at this point, I don't want to be screwed over and accidentally get myself killed. All right, I guess that means the best place that I could go to is zone three for grinding. Okay, so my goal is I'm going to try to get enough credits to where I can afford uh, some of the other gear for my add-ons and the batter real quick. So I'll just probably cut that out. So I will be right back. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. I forgot how tough zone 3 was. Nearly all the enemies I had to constantly go back over here just to get a quick heal. I barely went through like three encounters at that point. Good god. Fuck it. Okay, we're going back to the room now. I'll just... I'll just make sure that the batter is properly suited up. Alright. Uh, let's see. What can I equip him with? An aura of lunacy. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to buy a color of neglect. Or neglect. Alright. I think I got this. Alright. Sure you want to enter? Let's do it. Chapter 1. The Queen. Am I finally going to get to meet this queen? Show her to me. All right, here we go. Ooh, finally getting some color in this place. Hi. The first thing she said was, Hi. You are finally here. Long has been the wait for your arrival. 
But your way was in vain. You will only cause embarrassment here. Go back home. Always keeping his icy confidence, the batter replied, That's what I did. This cradle is the home of my father. You're fu- Are you the ki- No! No, 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 no. How are- This cradle is the home of my father? As in, literally- Wait, are you the- Are, are you the kid? But then, how do you ex- Wait, then how did- then why were we getting scenes of, like, another child? The Guardians have fallen. You're the queen of a kingdom that no longer exists. Surprised but not at all disconcerted, she asked him, Why have you destroyed the land that I had rebuilt? The answer was simple. You've never been here to do such a thing. Your role was to take care of him, and you have failed your task. Wait. Take care of him. As in... The, is this... Is this have, like, some weird implications that the batter and the kid are, like, brothers or siblings or something? And because of you, I must now complete my sacred mission. Forcing their monotonous dialogue despite the batter's attacks, the queen explained her actions as such. I have created all of this only for him. I desire nothing more than the happiness of my children. Lost in preparing the birthday party, you forgot, you forget who it was for. The final retort completely eroded the patience of the queen. You have spoiled the carnival, Batter. I will not let you lay a hand on the son who brought us into this world. On the son who brought us into this, into the world. What? Wait. Wait. Okay. Okay, let me try to wrap my head around this. So, you gave birth to your son. And your son, I'm assuming, was able to create this entire world. And from the way that the three guardians were speaking, those guardians were picked to help mold the world while I'm assuming you were watching over it. But where does the batter fit into all of this? Today you will fall. Oh. All right, let's go. She's got little floaty thingies. Like little wings? Vader Aloa, the queen, the fourth boss. Delta, Sigma, and Ypsilon. Royal Ad. Oh! It's a battle of add ons, is it? Delta, Sigma, and Epsilon versus Alpha, Omega, and Epsilon. Very well then. Let's go. You've been wrong since the beginning. Alto clef, short silence. Major chord. I, I did not like that. All right. I'm not sure entirely who which ones I'm attacking all at once, but hey, let's just do it. Let's go. Okay, I'm kind of getting which ones I have to attack, I think. Okay, I need to... Okay, Epsilon. Alright, Epsilon, go ahead and boost your attack power so your multi-hit attack will do something. Or do a little bit more damage. I am gravely disappointed. Okay, one add-on down. Treble Clef. Oh, a healing skill. Okay. Alright. Uh, here we go. Right. Um.
I actually let I, Okay, fine, I'll just start dealing damage to your EP. And the queen's actually poisoned. Cool. Scholar's mate. I'm gravely disappointed. Alpha, wake up! Okay, that just leaves one more add-on. Alright, all of our add-ons are gone. Just because you're... Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I should actually be happy about this. I, I don't think I should be. I think I should actually be very kind of upset at the moment. Okay, uh... What? Was that it? That was... Quick. Okay... I will say I did like the news that I was playing, but that felt short. That was very irresponsible on your part, Bata. I made a big kick for the party tonight. Would you like some coffee, my love? Queen of the Flies, it is time to join your disciples. I love. Am I seriously like the dad? Am I the papa? I'm a terrible dad, if that's the case. Nothing went right. We must forget it all and dream sweet dreams now. Look, he has your eyes. Joke's on you, I don't have any. However, his show fear. Oh. Now everything's all blood red. Okay. Chapter Zero, The Batter. Okay. It's all blood red. Also, the music is getting louder. Wait a minute. Same light. Is this... Is, is this the kids' room? I'm here. Oh god, the coughing. No! What? No! No, you can't be serious! No, you, you can't- no, fuck you, you can't make me do this. No, kill me. No, I'm not doing anything, fuck you, I'm not doing anything. can't even defend. Where the hell? There's supposed to be a defend option. Oh, there. I, I don't. Hugo, a little boy. No, fuck you. I'm not doing it. No, fuck you. No. No. You can't, no, no. There has to be something else, there has to be.
That is fucked up, man. Okay, clearly, no, fuck you. The batter's the villain. The batter is the villain. No. I, I could... I could... I could explain away some of the other stuff, some of the other enemies that he has brought down. I could... I can... I can kind of explain some of that. There is no goddamn excuse. Unless the batter is literally a bad guy. I don't want this. I really don't. Just make it quick, goddammit. I just fucking make it quick. God damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ugh. Ah, oh, damn it. Alpha, you did not deserve that level up. That makes me a monster. <laughs> I'm scared of the dark. From now on, there will be no more darkness. That everything's purified. Uh. Uh. I'm the bad guy. There's I I am the bad guy. <sighs> Judge, please stop me. Stop right there, you imposter. To say that I had placed the blindest confidence, the solidest hope, the sincerest belief in you. You can well say that I was led terrible astray. But the one who has truly betrayed us lies beyond the eye of the cat. What have you done, Sobata? I... I... I didn't want to! <clears throat> Is the obscuring mist of the narrative really your excuse for killing woman and child? You have not purified this place. You have destroyed, eradicated it. You have plunged it into a sterile nothingness. It's better like that. No, it's not! I should not have lent you my hand. From the beginning of the piece, I should have detected the black flame that consumes your soul. Zabata, join me. Expiate the sins of which we are guilty by preventing this monster from completing his work. Don't do that! I need you in order to purify this world. The time has now come to render your final and futile verdict. Wait. Oh! No, fuck you. I'm siding with the judge on this. <clears throat> that choice was, even though pathetically useless, I think, the right one. And now, Banner, taste our vindictive thirst for pointless justice. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, okay, first off... <laughs> Is that what the batter looked like this whole time? Oh, I'm the goddamn villain. I am definitely the fucking villain. All right, judge, let's go. Good God, 
conniving aneurysm, malignant aneurysm, critical aneurysm, aneurysm rupture, unknown sclerosis, atypical sclerosis, purulent sclerosis, staggering sclerosis. All right. Inflicting palsy. Nice. All right. Let's go, Judge. Let's tear him up. Slap him with everything we got. And of course, he has all of my items as well. The Batter. Demented Purificatory Incarnation. Final boss. All right, Judge. Let's tear him to pieces. Alpha, Omega, and Epsilon. Add-ons of the Batter. Where are the add-ons? Incredible impact. Oh, I'm guessing the add-ons are like literally fused into him because I can't pick anything else. I'm sorry, am I seeing nine hundreds of damage? Yeah! Screw you, batter! Your demented crusade ends here. Die, batter with the eternal souvenir of not having conducted your sad scheme to its unjust end. It's too late. Everything is lost. I know, but I prefer this over your victory. Hm. Nothing remains now except for our regrets. You have the Ares card. You have unlocked the game's true ending. Oh, sweet! Meanwhile, in a parallel dimension, a UFO Rat a tat, rat a tat, rat a tat. We are the space apes. Everything happened as we foreseen. Now that the world is completely white thanks to Sabata, we can finally build our giant evil robot factory. And then we can defeat our lifelong nemesis, the flying brains from Planet Oris. I... <laughs> I... What? The... What? Space monkey should hey, take uh, or my head hurts. I, I fuck. I have no goddamn idea what to make of that. I, I guess the, the I mean, the, the, I mean, for crying out loud, the world is pretty much just gone because it's been purified. So I guess it makes sense for evil space monkeys from space. To conquer the take over the planet world thing. This is the weirdest Planet of the Apes fan fiction I've ever read. You know, I just kind of realized something. If there is any other opportunity for me to go and use these orbs that I got, it's now. Especially considering I'm about to become a monster again. Oh, God. I gotta go kill a child. What the hell's wrong with me? Okay. Let it be known, I sided with the judge first. And I regret that I am siding with the batter. Too bad for you, Sabata. You will die in control of your evil marionette. It is time for you to bid farewell to what little you have left of your existence. <laughs> All right. The Judge, Pablo, Feline Avenger, Final Boss. All right.
Believe me, I don't like this. Okay. All right. Uh... Well, poison's certainly doing a number on him. Can I be aneurysm? Okay. Oh. I'm starting to think that maybe the, um, the purified zones gave me way too much experience. This is... It's over. Escaping from your purpose is impossible. <laughs> The switch is currently on. Flip the switch, and what happens? Off. The switch is now off. And now we get the credits again. Is there gonna be anything different? <clears throat> is it gonna be like the the batter is now just traveling across the world or Or is there gonna be anything different? <clears throat> oh, we're gonna get to see this true ending all over again. Yeah, we're gonna see this shit again. <laughs> It looks like nothing changed in the credits this time. Behold! The secret space apes! The ones that destroy everything! And now uh, the world's life, so they're gonna take over! That's some earthbound level weirdness right there. The end, my ass! Okay. That was off. Okay, so final thoughts. This was a fantastic bit of change of pace for me. The RPGs, I, I like RPG games. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, that's painfully obvious at this point. This world that this game had weaved together. Obviously, I was completely goddamn lost in right in the beginning. But, of course, the further and further in I get, the more... A lot of it started to make a little bit more sense. I I should have clued in the possibility that my character was the villain of sorts. But that special end no, even before that special ending, I was already starting to feel like purifying the zones was a bad idea. And then whenever the time came and I discovered what it really meant to purify the lands, that just solidified that there's something that I'm not being told. That there is something severely wrong with what I was doing. Going through the room segments. Lean, learning a little bit more about the child, Hugo. His worldview. How he had met the Guardians. I'm a, oh, Maybe not how he met the Guardians, but how... I don't know. How the Guardian seemingly talked him through, I don't know. But seeing his perspective, seeing how he didn't like his papa, how he missed, how he wanted to be with mom, and what really makes me wonder is what did Zachary, like what was his role through all this? As well as that mysterious character, Sugar, or Sucker, which by the way, I think I was told that Sugar was actually a female. Which, I should probably keep that in mind. But, I wonder what their part in all of this was. But, just, the gradual decline of like, okay, maybe I'm not necessarily doing the right thing here, solidified the moment the batter murdered Hugo. Like, none of this was good. The Queen's boss battle I think, I think it's because I chose to go to the purified zones and get like 
all the secret stuff and the enemies themselves giving me such ludicrous amounts of experience, I feel like that probably cheapened the boss fights themselves. Unless it was their intention to make those bosses somewhat easy. I, <clears throat> I feel like I destroyed some part of the experience myself because I tried to, like... And maybe not so much power level. I only killed enemies that I felt confident in killing. But... Ugh, God. Now, positives. Positives. Gripping story. And by gripping story, I mean the lack of storytelling. The point where I have to try to piece all this stuff together. There's where the grip came from. There's where I was like, literally... That's where I was so damn intrigued to try to piece things together. And uh, be sure to let me know if I kind of got some of those right or if there was like some things I misconstrued or anything like that. But from the way it looks, I feel like the batter is like a personification of the father, I'm assuming. Or it was a creation of Hugo. And from the way it was from that boxer comic, the batters were the bad guys while the boxer was the good guy. So... Maybe that was some sort of influence right there. I mean, hell, I could possibly not be the actual father. And maybe I was created from Hugo's perspective. And, and I was kind of a bad guy of sorts. Because of the comic that Hugo must have read. Maybe that's why. But because this is the land that Hugo created... The fact that I was the bad guy still stood, so he, Hugo, ended up being killed by his own creation. Which, god damn it, that's terrible. I'm assuming. I will say though, that special ending, having the judge, felt very good. I'm assuming that... <sighs> I'm assuming that maybe it was because of the cards that I collected, the Ares card and, all, and the other cards. I'm assuming that's what unlocked that special ending. I'm assuming that it was supposed to be like some sort of special area or room. I didn't expect it to actually be uh, an ending of sorts. But being able to play as the judge to take down the... God damn, the bat the batter's form. Jesus. He's no different than a freaking Elson that lost control of himself. I will give Wicked props. That was a hellishly cool monster-like design. I loved it. But, um... Yeah. So... I... I don't know how to wrap my mind around the, the mind fuck. That was that special ending. I, or not, no, the, uh, the true ending. I have no idea how to wrap my head around whatever the fuck that was. But, this is a damn good game. Let's see if I can recommend this to a couple other people that I'm gonna try. But, I've heard that there are some other spin-offs. Eh, pun intended. I might take a look at those later. But for now, that was fun. I like the music choices, and I'm quite happy with the support that this series actually got. So, all of you commenters, all of you, Miss Shadow, Pirate, uh, Tokuri, DMUA, um, I want to properly credit all of you. Fire Phantom, or I'm sorry, Miss Pirate, not Miss Shadow. What's wrong with me? You guys, you guys are great. Thank you very much for helping improve this experience because I had I had a lot of fun with this even if it was still dark but anyway if you all like this be sure to let me know thank you all very much for joining me on this let's play and I will definitely see all of you guys in the next